We've all missed out on a lot during the pandemic, some more than others, and now some local college students are telling their school they want their money back. Here's Jenny Joyce. Students are suing the University of Delaware, saying that they paid for services they never received last spring because the facilities abruptly shut down. Some students on campus say they tend to agree. They think that this lawsuit is valid. We spent a lot of money and we should definitely get some money back especially as an out of state student. University of Delaware senior Eli Zaitchek voicing support for the UDEL students current and former who filed two lawsuits against the university. They want a refund for the 2020 school year upended by a pandemic lockdown. The students cite a breach of contract and unjust enrichment after UD officials stopped offering in person classes and closed campus facilities. I feel like it's definitely deserved. Most of the cost is really just to be on campus, to use the facilities, to be able to go to the gym. Lucky for me, I mean, my parents helped me out, so I don't know, I'm still getting a degree at the end of the day, so, you know, the money's still going somewhere. On Tuesday, a judge ruled that while students may not be entitled to get money back for their tuition, they can at least pursue reimbursement claims for fees that covered services they didn't receive. It's not a victory yet. It's just not a loss. Attorney Amy E. Feldman says contracts ultimately decide these cases. It's a shame, but legally, depending on how the contract is written, there's not, there is usually not much of an argument. Feldman says other similar suits have not survived because many schools are protected by a written agreement. The courts have come out to say, listen, you know, college has a lot of experiences, but the most important part is the education and you still got the education. Amy Feldman says the UDEL lawsuit is different from others that are suing over lost experiences like concerts and sporting events. University of Delaware says it does not comment on ongoing litigation. Reporting from the campus of University of Delaware, I'm Jennifer Joyce, Fox 29 News.